In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to create this image that you see here. And I'll start by going to File, New, and we want to use an image size that has the same width and height. So I'll keep my width here of 640, and I'll change the height to 640 also. And we're going to make the red planet first. So select the Blend tool and move this black color right here to the background using this button. And then click on the white foreground area and choose a red color. And make sure that the gradient is set to FG to BG, which is foreground to background. And then apply a stroke from the top left to the bottom right. And then we need to make sure that this layer does not have an alpha channel. So you can check that by right clicking on the layer. And if it's not grayed out already, just select remove alpha channel. And then next go to the filters menu and select render, nature, and flame. And slide the brightness slider all the way up to its maximum value. And this image right here gives us a preview of what this filter will produce. If you don't like the image that is shown, you can click on the Edit button. And then this button right here that says Randomize. Just keep pressing that until you get a picture that you like. And this one will work well, so I'll use it. So then I just press OK. And this is what this filter produced. So next, we need to turn this into a sphere. So go up to the Filters menu and select Map and Map Object. And then under the General Options, you want to go to this drop-down box and select Sphere. And then add a check mark to the transparent background. And then here we have an image of what this filter will produce and you can turn off Show Wireframe to see it a little bit better. And then press OK. And now our bottom layer here, we don't need the design that's on it anymore. So let's go ahead and fill this in with a black color. So make sure that this layer is selected, and then choose the Bucket Fill tool, and then swap these two colors here so you can bring the black color to the foreground. And then make sure that Fill Hole Selection is checked. And then click on this background area. And next we'll create the turbulent gases that are surrounding this planet. So add a new layer by using this button right here. And set the layer fill type to Transparency. And then click OK. And then go up to the Filters menu and select Render nature, and flame. And this time, down here for the color map, go to the drop-down menu and choose Sunny Harvest. And I want to find a different picture this time. So just hit the Edit key, and then press the Randomize button. And this one looks good. So then just press OK, and then OK again. And now you can see what this filter has produced in the background. And it's behind the planet because our layer is below the planet. But most of it is being blocked, so we need to move this background a little bit. So turn off the layer that has the planet, and then select the Move tool, and then move this up and to the right a little bit. And then you can turn the planet layer back on again. And now we're going to make another layer that's on top of the planet. So create a new layer using this button. And then the layer fill type should be set to transparency. And click OK. And then move this layer to the top using the up green arrow. And then we're going to apply the flame filter again. So go up to filters. And since we just used it, we can use this option right here, which is Reshow Flame. And we want to pick a different image for the front, 
So click the edit button and hit randomize. And you can just keep hitting this button until you find an image that you like. And this one looks good. So press OK and then OK again. And now this new layer that we added, I want to move it a little bit too. So click somewhere where this layer is visible and just drag it a little bit down and to the left. And that looks good. And next we're going to add a bright light up in the top left hand corner. So select the bottom layer and then go up to the filters menu and select light and shadow and supernova. This is already positioned up in the top left hand corner, but I'm going to reduce the radius from 20 to 10. And then press OK. And now our image is complete. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.